Today we are opening a box that I have never opened before. Star Strike Blast. I can't believe that this man got so tired of me not uploading that he just came to my house and said, I'm going to make you upload. That is exactly what happened. <laughs> not enough rhyme style opening Yo, videos. Can, can I be honest for a second? Yeah. I forgot about this channel. No, like literally two days, like two days ago, I was like, I have not uploaded on this channel in a while because I've been so focused on streaming and everything else on my main channel. But to be fair, there hasn't been anything to open outside of uh, of this. This. Like once once I did this, I was like, all right, I'm kind of bored. But Pokemon has been watching new stuff and Yu-Gi-Oh is doing, Yu-Gi-Oh is doing Darkwing Blast and oh, yeah. there's something else that's coming out that I'm excited for. So what's inside his box? All right, let's get on to the real card game, okay? Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, Star <laughs> Strike Blast. Game. This set, I don't even remember when it came out. I think it was like around 2010, something like that. This set only came in first edition. There was no unlimited for this set. Inside, there's the Ghost Rare Shooting Star Dragon. So that's what we're really hoping for. There's also do a I, ton of like super rares and stuff that are really expensive. Do I do the honors? Do it. <laughs> Hey, there it is. Last time we pulled Exodia, it's going to be hard to live up to that. But we're, <laughs> we're going to see what we can. By the way, if you missed the Exodia video, a lot of people did. Go watch it. We pulled Exodia last year. It was awesome. All right, let's do this. We are starting off Star Strike Blast. I don't know a lot about this set because I have never really opened it that much. So this is our first time opening this box. I think this is one of the last five of these boxes I need to open. I was going to say, what's the big hit here? Is it just shooting? Was it well, shooting the star? Ghost Rare is probably the biggest. I know there's some other good stuff. I actually hit the, um, what is it called? The Glow Up Bulb Ulti in the every pack opening out of this set. And that's like an $80 card. So there's some good ultis in here you can pull as well. we got the Booby Trap. Wad Hopper, let's pull something good. Scrap Lube, okay. We got the extra Veiler, nice. I don't know why, but- Oh, you... wow, is that a secret That's rare? a secret rare from right the back. Off the bat. Okay, secret rare. So, don't I don't worry, I got you. Where's the I just had the sleeves. You just had the sleeves. Am I stupid? So, we found them, don't worry. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're we good. We will sleeve up the secret you rare. You can slide that over to me, and All right. I got gotcha, you, I'll do that. See what you, right, you know what, I'm gonna pick from right here, because I feel like this, this pack right here is magical. Okay, all right. I'm really hoping we get an ulti out of this box. I don't know what the ratios are for this. Like, we got a secret. I don't know if that means we're gonna get an ulti or not. Not. What Hopefully do you do? How many do you from the back? I just did three and it didn't. I think it was like the third card. I think you would need to do four and then switch the two. I think is what you have to do. Okay. Switch the two? Yeah, that's those, like this. Fine. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Scrap. That's a good card. Switch the Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Uh, is there any like good, valuable, or like hit cards that are like uh, commons? I think there is. I probably should have looked at the list. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Mm, I just got flat PTSD actually. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin. Heat wave. wave, and then that's it. Okay, yeah, I think it would have been right in front of that if it was there. So not bad. I mean, there, is there any is there any good comments? Vanity's emptiness. All right, I think that you do four, and then you go like this. Let's see if that works. All right, we got the main half counter, black wing. Etzion, the two swords. All right, White Dragonfly, the Karakuri Spider. I think, isn't this in like the old school games? I want to say it is. I think this was like an old school card in like some of the video games, like GBA games and stuff. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me know in the comments. Axe of Fools, Attack Gainer, Creation Resonator, and ooh, okay. Ultra Rare, Mystic. Oh, for a second, I thought that was an ultimate. Um, what, hold on, that, that's two in a row. I'm on fire right now. You should just pick the top pack. You're about to get all, you're about to pull, hey, for retention wise, I need you to like, you know, pull the fire later. Well, the ghost rare will be later. <laughs> oh, yeah. right, right, right. So if right, you're about right, to leave, right, right, don't, right. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to miss the ghost rare. All right, you so. know what? I'm just going to follow this because this is yeah. obviously uh, mapped. So yeah. all, all the, all the they heat. They put them all at the very top. Imagine. All right, so we got Ally of Justice. Okay. Blackwing booby. We, we get a lot of booby traps here. Yeah, a lot of booby traps. Synchron Soldier, Star Siphon, Rescue Warrior, Attack Gainer. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I got excited for that. I was like, damn, what? is it? Am I gonna win a pack battle? Is it about to happen? Well, it's it's about quality and quantity. Okay, I'm just wondering because I don't think I I still don't think I've beaten you. <laughs> and I mean, how many has it been? 20 pack battles? Like, I mean, I always say if you want to pull something, just challenge you to a pack battle, you'll get it. I know. I, here's why. Because no one was actually challenged to a pack battle. This wasn't technically a pack battle. That's why I'm winning. Because <laughs> it's not really going to count. Okay, we got the Necrolinker, the Cursed Bill. Okay. Synchro Soldier, Exterios Fang, Star Siphon. I, I still think my favorite pack battle we ever did was when I pulled 10,000 Dragon. <sighs> I don't have to bring that up. Lancer, <laughs> Archfiend, and... Needles, and then you lied to me. That was, that was the best part. So a lot of people don't know this, but usually when we do pack battles, we won't tell each other what we pulled. But if the box battle is ass, I will literally like text them and be like, yeah, mine was all right. But then that day I'm like, I can't let them know. I'm gonna just do four in case yeah, I yeah. do have some fire. I don't want to like, potentially scratch or whatever. Oh yeah, good idea. I text them and I'm like, I pulled nothing. But if you want, we should do reaction videos to make up for it because like the boxes are expensive and it's like, you know, we can get twice the content out of it. Oh, that's a good card. 
And then I'm like, yeah, just just record your reaction to it. And he just did it. And then didn't realize the reason why. Oh, oh we got one. Bowl. That's also banned, isn't it? Oh, it's an ultra in this set. Okay, there's also an ulti that we Okay, so that time. was. This That's is, a good card. This is banned, isn't it? Glow up, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it might be. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. I think this just got unbanned randomly. Yeah. Uh, well, not unbanned, but like. It used to be really good. Taking off that. the ban list for uh craftable cards. Oh, this Massable. card's good too. White Mare. White Mare, yeah. yeah. All right, come on, Ghost Rare. This is the time. If there's a Ghost Rare in this box, I'm going to lose it. Let's go. I don't think I've ever pulled a classic ghost rare before, so this will be a first for me. Yeah, I've definitely not pulled this one. So let's see if we can do it now. No, we can't change. Can we talk that. about how good ghost rares used to look versus how good they are or how awful they are now? So for example, no hate against ghosts from the past, but look how stale this is. Yes, compared to the old one. Yeah. Bruh. Yes. It, it's actually cartoonish, the difference. Like, I don't Why know. Why is it so gray? Yeah, it's so sad. Where's the happiness in this? Like, look how much this pops. <laughs> Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah. Big time agree. Let's compare it to the Shooting Star Dragon in just a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, right. How about uh, it's going to be in this pack right here. All right. Ben. Butterfly. We got some scraps. God, I can't. Well, apparently, I forgot. What's how the how to, specials? I forgot how to open packs. Let's go. Mirror of the Ice Barrier. A lot of Karakuri stuff. Rescue Warrior. Nice. Oh, okay. It's a foil. You've got two foils now. You're catching up. Of course, naturally. For now. I can start off ahead, but... I think you got the fire ones, though. So is it two ultras with a potential ghost rare? I don't know. That's the thing. Uh, th this is in kind of the weird area between, like, 5Ds and, like, GX and stuff where they kind of, like, changed up the ratios and everything. So, like, I know there are ultis in here. I don't know what the ratios are. I don't know if we'll even get one. There's that spider again. Hopefully we will. There's a lot of decent ones in here. Scrap lube. And there we go. Nothing. <laughs> Just depression. All right, uh, just a rare, all right. I'm sure a lot of people can relate, but there's nothing more painful than <laughs> opening like classic packs <laughs> and then seeing just a regular rare or you finally get a hit and it's like, oh, what's that one? <laughs> it's the great. bad one. <laughs> oh, great secret rare. Yep. Hey, at least we got a secret because secrets weren't guaranteed for box back then, weren't they? I don't think so, but I'm really not sure. Extra Valor. I wish it was effect Valor. <laughs> Nothing. Great. All right, great. Going well, going well. What? We pulled the Exodia in like the last pack, didn't we? So like... I want to say yes. It was something like that. It was like the last pack. You, you then, brought the first edition LB packs too, right? Yes. And then we pulled that last and then we pulled like... Didn't we pull uh, Raigeki or something? Yeah. Yeah, it was No, insane. but I'm saying you, you, you brought the LB box to open here as well today, right? Oh, oh yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. We'll be opening that in the next video. Keep an eye out. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> um, if you don't see it, uh, you must have missed it. I don't, I, it was there, I promise. It's actually funny seeing like LOB blown up after Pokemon did because like I remember me and Poke Rev, we found somebody who had like a bunch of boxes and we just bought them for like really dirt cheap. I still have that box. Do we, do we crack into it right now? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Pull nothing. That's always my biggest fear is like I would love to open a vintage box, but I know if I open up a box and I just get like an ultra rare Gaia, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Like, cool things. Hey, look, let, we can just open Retro Pack. No big deal. Retro Pack one. Yeah. Let, let there us might know. Be in the, a, there might be the LOBR blue eyes in there. If you comment enough in the comments, that will manifest that we opened it right after this. So we will know soon if you've made enough comments to open the Retro Pack one. So we'll see. No I've, I've had the itch to find Retro Pack two again. Yeah, we got to bring it back. You, you open, you pulling <laughs> that Shining Dragon. Like, Ooh, wanna, there we go. Dragoonity. All right. I remember that one from Duel Links. Yeah, I would love to pull the Shining again. So we might have to bring back our old school battle, our retro pack twos. You sent it to just a PSA, right? Yeah, I got it. I nine. wonder what happens if you send it to like BGS. It has like a line in the thing. Oh. It has like a line in the uh, text box. It's really weird. So I don't think it would get it. Yeah, there. but you might get that 9.5. Maybe I'll send it to CGC, oh. get that 9.5. You could. I've actually recently got into uh, CGC. It's funny because Roxon will tell you, I did not. I know it's cool. You did five, but you know it's what? okay. I th maybe, you know what? There's going to be a Good ghost rare at the end. Watch. Good luck. It's gonna be a ghost rare. You know why I know? Because I'm a believer of, of fire pulls. Like, oh, never mind, I was last card. <laughs> what did you do? How did I, you? <laughs> I'm a Dragon Ball fan, so I can't count. <laughs> can't count, and also a Yu Gi Oh fan, so you can't read. So you're, yeah, no, I, I'm getting twice the railing here. Yeah, yeah day to day activities <laughs> are rough for Ron's side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you were talking about CGC, I think. Right, so Ruxin will tell you when CGC was doing gradings and everybody was like all about PSA and BGS and they were backed up. Yeah. I was like, I would never go into CGC. Ooh. Like I'm good. And then I bought this. This went on sale. I remember I was gonna buy yours for like a while. Yeah. And this went up on, on eBay for, I think I got it for like 600 bucks. And I, I, I offered 600 and they accepted. I'm like, is this real? 
<laughs> and then when I, once I actually held this case, I'm like, this is actually kind of nice. So now I, I fall into this. I told you that, and you were like, no, they aren't nice. Those cases aren't good. I was like, no, you got to feel them, man. They're it's really funny good. because I love BGS cases, and, and Ruxin hates them. Yeah, it's I'm like, not a BGS case guy. Yeah. It's like, you can't see the I love the, the subgrades. I don't love the, yeah, it, it, there's too much sleeving, which is good for protection, but it's like, you want to be able to see it. CGC you know? is actually great. This sounds like a CGC sales video at this point. <laughs> CGC, sponsored by CGC. Okay, maybe not. Hey, yo, CGC, hit us up. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> But I, sorry, I think, PSA. I'm sorry, guys. Well, so th <laughs> this is my issue with CGC originally. I feel like when CGC took over, a lot of uh, people were like, oh, I only trust in BGS and PSA because that's what right. they were used to. And CGC has been, has been around longer because they were obviously grading like um, comics and stuff. And I always felt like CGC, because of that, purposely would grade cards way more harshly to show that they They did like, at the beginning, for sure. And they definitely did. Because. Oh, look at that! Oh, 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 rare. Nice. Let's go! Super arc. I, I that didn't even dope. expect that one. Yeah, we're just like mid CGC conversation. I, I, I think you won the pack battle here. Yeah. Uh, no, you could still get the ghost. That would win. A ghost and an ulti in a box? That's insane. I mean, I don't know if it could happen, but maybe. I really don't know what the stuff is. How's it looking? Oh, this looks great. All right, we're sending that. Oh, in. but it's got the, the the imprint. I don't care. I'm sending it anyway. Yeah. Sometimes you can sneak by with that. Yeah. So I just actually I just got a um. That's a sick pull. I actually like that art. The ultimate rare of Black Lost Soldier from OTS, and I was oh, excited. Yeah, yeah. But it's got that same like. Have you rare seen imprint. my no name one? Yes. I have it with me. Yeah, I, somebody somebody hit me up. They're like, yeah, I have one with no name. Do you want to buy it? I was like, yes, you guys, please. I, I want to see that in person. I was like, yes, please. I love and hate that Ultimate Rares have those imprints because they're not damaged to their cards. It's just how the cards are made. Right. The new OTS ones, they like stamp them so hard, oh, nice. too. It's like you can see the artwork to the back. Oh, Form of Synchro. That's a good card. Oh, that's a great that's card. That's a great yeah, card. Set that one yeah, we're going we're gonna to sleep that up. I think it's like five bucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. If we get a Ghost Germ, this would be a great box. Stag, Half Counter, Leon Drake. Scrap Searcher, Barkeon, Wad Hopper, Medallion, and a Black Wing. Okay. Look how beautiful this looks. I love Ultimate Rares. Just, but I then, just like the artwork for this card. Then you just get to the back and you just see that imprint. This card gets all that all the hate because it's like not very good, but it's so expensive. I think it's great. It's it's pretty good, but it's like not good enough to be worth the price. No, no, not um, at all. I, but honestly, I think it's awesome artwork. I don't. I don't, like I don't even. You can open the next one. I'll open stuff. Okay. I don't even run it. Because it's like, I'd rather have the extra extra decks to buy for like something else more important. Right. Like, it, it's almost good enough to play, but not quite. I've used it before and it's like, oh, this card's pretty decent. See, I think but... the problem is, is because the original Black Lost of Soldier Honesty is better. Yeah. I've said what I said. <laughs> He's like, nah, this link well, is Well, no, trash. no, not really. Well, because that, you, you, that still, was, you still get the banish. And that one's like hard to like kill. It's like really good. Yeah. And it can like gain attack and stuff. So it's just like a massive like 5k tower. Is guy. there, do you know if there's a link card, if it's used for material, that it makes it so you can't get destroyed by battle as well? Because if uh, that's the case, you could probably make this card snapped. I don't know, because I know there's XC stuff for that. I don't yeah. know if there's link material stuff. Because like, again, what, what it does, in case you're n new to Yu-Gi-Oh, BLS can get destroyed by uh, effects if you use if you summon it using a level seven or higher. Yeah. And every single time it destroys a card of battle, you can either add 1500 attack permanently or banish. So that's a good effect. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's just that it gets beaten so easily by everything else in today's meta. Ghost Rare. Oh! oh whoa, I forgot! Yeah, Droll is in here. That's probably like $10 that's plus. That's an underrated card. That This used to be a $30 rare. Yeah. Which is insane. So that's actually I a good pull. love and hate this card. Yeah, yeah. It's... I'm, always, I'm the type of person that says you should always run Droll, and I never use it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is actually not that bad of a box. No, it's pretty solid. I mean, we're getting good rares. We're getting uh, all you know all the rarities besides Ghost Rare until now. <laughs> until until now. now. Here it comes. No, that wasn't it. That okay. timing would have been great. There's a lot of Black Wings in here. I kind of forgot about that. All right, let's see what it, we got. It fits well with the Black Wing set coming out. Here's a better question. What's the next box you're going to go after? Since this is like, you know, you never opened this. Uh, I still need to open Invasion of Chaos first edition. So you never done that. It's very expensive. I have never pulled Black Lost of Soldier or Chaos Emperor Dragon, I'm including reprints. And I hate you because you pull that all the time. It took me forever to pull BLS. Oh, Delg, Delg, the Dark Monarch. That's a guy I have not heard of too often. I actually think that's a little bit, like in terms of value. I don't think that's a lot of reprint. Are we in the last pack? Yeah. The card that I've pulled okay. a bajillion times was Chaos Emperor. Oh, not Chaos Emperor Dragon. Uh, Dark Edition uh, of Chaos. Dude, I pulled that one. It every feels like that's the easiest time. one. And every time I bought the vintage packs, I always pulled it. And I yeah. graded at 10 a couple years ago. I graded a 10 out of my last sub. Yeah. I got a reprint 10, which yeah. never happens because I get killed on those. I, it took me a really long time to get the BLS, but I pulled a lot of CEDs and like DMOX, but. Uh, it seems was it short of it? It's gotta be. This set? No, or the uh, BLS. BLS. I don't think so, but it definitely could have been. 
you know, knowing Konami. All right, we're on the final pack. So we this could pull, be a ghost rare. We gotta end it with a ghost rare. Yeah, might as well. Or be. we never upload again. <laughs> okay, yeah, you heard it here first. Why do you think I stopped uploading my second channel? Yeah, th this this was I made recorded months ago. It was when he <laughs> stopped uploading. I made the gamble and I lost it. <laughs> Let's go, Rescue Warrior. Oh, we got a spoil. super, the Monk Ranchin, all right. You know my favorite thing about card openings? It's like, you open a card, it's like, oh, great! Oh, right, woohoo, a super! It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> all right, well, that was fun. I mean, that, that wasn't that bad. Honestly, a lot of decent cards. We'll take that. That's, that's really dope. The I like that one. card. I'm definitely grading it, putting yep. it in my next bulk sub, because $15 bulk. And you also go, got baby. side blocker. Nice. Yeah, I don't think that card's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be optimistic here. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We will have another video in Rhyme Style coming up at some point. So, see you guys then.